So today we're going to solve situational problems involving trigonometric identities. So first thing is we need to identify or familiarize the fundamental trigonometric identities and other identities. So first one, these are the trig fundamental trigonometric identities. So you could screenshot this. Also, we have the other trigonometric identities. This is the cosines sum identity, the cofunction identities, the sine sum identity, some difference sign ident difference identity, tangent sum and difference identities, the double angle, the other double angles, the tangent double angle identity and the half angle identities. These are the things that we should familiarize with because they are important in solving for the problems. So the, here are the problems. We're going to have three problems. The first one is the force F in pounds on the back of a person when he or she bends over at an acute angle in degrees is given by F is equal to 0.2 W sine theta plus 90 over sine 12 where W is the weight in pound of the person. The first question is simplify the formula for F. The second is find the force on the back of a person whose weight is 50 pounds if he bends an angle of 30 degrees and let us see how many pounds should a person weigh for his back to endure a force of 400 pounds if he bends 40 degrees. So we know that there is a formula already so if there is a given formula that's the problem or the solving it will be quite easier because we're, we have already the formula. So the, for letter A, um, F is equal to 0.2 W sine theta plus 90 over sine 12. This is the formula. What we're going to do is to simplify according to the situation and the problem. So we're going to simplify this formula. So using the identities, we're going to identify which identity are we going to have so because it's this one sine theta plus 90 so it could be it is only sum so sum of sum so we we're going to identify sign this cannot be used tangent and cosine is a tangent we will not going to use them because given sign so we can have this one this two but we know that we're going to use this one because this is plus so sine a so as you can see copy first 0.2 w so itong sine theta plus 90 to simplify this we're going to have this one sine this would become a and this would become b so sine theta cosine b which is cosine 90 plus cosine a cosine a is theta sine b and b is 90 so over sine 12 is equal to 0.2 w sine theta cosine 90 cosine 90 if we're going to solve that in the calculator or no sorry cosine 90 is zero so this will become sine zero times sine theta plus cosine theta times sine 90 which is equal to one that's one so one over sine 12 this would be equal to 0 0.2 w any number multiplied by zero is zero so this is zero plus any number multiplied by one is itself so cosine theta times one is cosine theta over sine 12 is equal to 0 0.2 w any number added to zero is itself or identity property of addition so 0 plus cosine theta is cosine theta sine 12. So this is now the simplified form of the formula. From this one, we have this one.
Is it simplified? I hope so. Letter B. Find the force on the back of a first person whose weight is 50 pounds. So first given weight, 50 pounds, if he bends an angle of 30 degrees. So 30, the angle is 30 degrees and we're looking for the force. So the form, formula for the force is this one, F is equal to 0.2W cosine theta over sine 12 which is equal to 0.2 w is 50 cosine theta is cosine theta is 30 degrees over sine 12 so we could type this directly in the calculator 0.2 times 50 times cosine 30 is equal to divided by sine 12 no What's that? So the answer is 41.65. So our answer for this one is 41.65. So we'll proceed with letter C. So letter C. So for letter C, how many pounds should the person weigh for his back to endure a force of... The given is first. This force is 400 pounds. 400 if he bends 40 degrees so the theta is 40 degrees and we're looking for how many pounds should a person weigh so we're looking for the weight formula is equal to 0.2 w cosine theta over sine 12 is equal to 0.2 w is unknown f is 400 cosine theta which is 40 over sine 12 so we could multiply sine 12 to 400 so it would become 400 times sine 12 is equal to 0 0.2 w cosine 40 so we could divide this by 0 0.2 cosine 40 bakit yan ang i-divide natin para so that we could cancel them matira na lang dito is w so divide both sides by that cosine 40 we did not multiply this and then we did not multiply this we could solve this, this directly 0 0.2 times cosine 40 tapos we're going to write it in here we will not going to do that one because if we're going to do that one, we're going to estimate. So there is a possibility na lalayo yung sagot. So instead, we're just going to have this as it is. So 400, just like sine 12, hindi natin kinuha yung value muna. Hindi natin siya in estimate. So divided by 0 0.2 times cosine. 40. So the answer is 542.82. So this should be the weight in order for the force to be 400 at 40 degree angle. So that's how we're going to solve for it.